around $1,600, mm -hmm. somewhere in that range, which is given what it is as a multi-core processor mm -hmm. uh, with a touch interface, that's actually mm -hmm. pretty economical. It's the second generation of the touch-capable computer that uh, HP has developed. Um, and given the price point and the configuration, and the fact that it's sort of somewhat kitchen friendly, it's got this cool little light here for, for a surface. Uh, I don't know why that would be, but I guess in the kitchen perhaps your lighting won't be ideal for computing, something along those lines. Maybe it'll allow you to see the, uh, the keyboard in the keyboard dark a little as better. well. Yeah. So, that's a, so it's got a wireless keyboard as you can see, and it comes with a wireless mouse, which you've lost. That's okay. Here we go. <laughs> so the wireless mouse as well, blah, 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 hooray, hooray. But what the, the, the key feature here is that the screen is actually uh, touch sensitive. So in yeah, fact, so we could interact with it like, like this with our mouse and drag things around and whatnot, but... Right. Or... I can use my finger to drag it. Yeah, there we go. Well, let's select it. Same way. So I can use, yeah. use my finger as a mouse. Now, so there's not necessarily as sensitive as you'd like, but. In fact, the interesting thing is I don't actually have to, ha have to touch the surface. Mm -hmm. There's actually cameras here that actually detect that I'm very close to it. And I got rid of it there. Anyway. But so you don't actually have, have to touch the surface, the mm -hmm. inclinations that you really want to, of course. Mm -hmm. But the cameras actually detect that your fingers is within uh, proximity of the screen and will actually start the motion. Go real close. There you go. See? Yeah. Anyway, what's really exciting about this particular technology, though, is the HP interface that they've developed. Because Windows doesn't support touch at the moment, they had to develop mm -hmm. their own software. So as you said, that'll be out in the next version of Windows. It will theoretically be this, out. This is what they said. I mean, they started stripping features out of Vista to meet the ship date for that. So who knows if this will remain in it by the time they finally release Windows 7. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Well, but in the meantime, HP's done a nice job integrating a mul multiple uh, touch interface type technology. Mm -hmm. uh, if we start here, let's, let's let it boot up for a second here. Should we go there first? So this is a, a notepad application. It uh, allows you to create notes, right? Now, keep in mind, of course, this is your, in your kitchen, right, potentially. So mm -hmm. you could actually create, you know, hi, mom, I will be late. Right? Touch interface like that. Yep. Um, you can, you know, change the size of, change the color. Change the color. Oops. Oops. There we go. There you go. So you could really use this for finger painting. Yeah. Done. There's also, of course, a, it's got fully integrated uh, speakers and microphones, so you could actually, you know, record. And go record. Hi there. Welcome to Lab Rats. I'm Andy Walker. And I'm Sean Carruthers. There we go. And review recording. Hi there. Welcome to Lab Rats. I'm Andy Walker. And I'm Sean Carruthers. Sounds just like us. Exactly. There you go. So, so you know, fun little features like that. Again, keep in mind, this is, you know, designed for family, right? Mm -hmm. Family interaction. Uh, just like you have on your uh, iPod Touch or on your iPhone, you have the ability to, to listen to music. Uh, you, there is a uh, similar functionality here where you can touch, move it across like that. Hmm. Select. Geez, that looks kind of familiar. Funny that, huh? There you go. And uh, let's see if we can go somewhere else. There's, you know, there's whole access to family calendars. There's some games down here, things like that. Mm. So, uh, pictures. A photo. Let's open up the pictures for a second. So let's interact with, down here, choose a photograph of a butterfly. Right. Very good. And then here you can go crop. And hmm, can you do more than one at the same time? No. No multi-touch, so. No multi-touch. Well, well, that's not unfortunate. Not multi-touch yet. But, you know, it's an evolution. So there you go. That's uh, that's the HP PhotoSmart 22-inch version, a 17-inch version, 1,600 bucks, 1,400 bucks, somewhere in that range. Mm -hmm. um, available mid-July 2008. Mm -hmm. So by the time you see this, it's probably going to be out. But not bad, don't you think, for 15, 1,600 dollars? That's not bad. It's it's a nice uh, a nice evolution. It's, it's not as sensitive as I necessarily would have liked, but uh, I mean, you still do have the keyboard and mouse, so you're not stuck with using touch sensitivity for for doing these things if you don't want it, so. There you go, good. So now in the future, as I said, uh, so Windows 7 probably have that functionality built in. Mm -hmm. I would suspect that in, you know, in the mobile world, you're gonna see a lot of cell phone manufacturers mimicking what, uh, what Apple's done. Mm -hmm. Do you see any further refinements in what Apple's gonna do in terms of multi-touch and things like that? Um, greater sensitivity. I, I think the biggest refinement that they need to make at this point is just 
cheaper and bigger. Mm -hmm. um, because right now with the, the screen, the size that it is, it's, it's very uh, unusable for most you know, major consumer applications, mm -hmm. unless you're in the field. And then you're willing to put up with it. But yeah, it, it, it just has to be both this size, and then I think we're good to go. What about gaming? And sort of the Wii experience. The Wii is obviously gesture control. Mm -hmm. Do you see that sort of a touch gesture control kind of thing happening? Uh, it's a possibility. It would have to be very specific. I think the, the one worry that I would have, just sort of in much the same way that the Wii po uh, posed some problems with gaming, in that the, the gesture was very aggro in some cases, very, very aggressive. Very aggressive. Yeah. Um, if you're playing a game and you're like, <laughs> Yeah, there might be more damage to your screen than, <laughs> than you'd like, so I don't know if it's necessarily a good idea. Uh, very simple gaming. Very simple gaming. Very simple very gaming. I think what you're going to see uh, in terms of moving forward is not only going to be touch control and gesture control, but you also see grasp control, especially mm -hmm. in the mobile devices. Mm -hmm. Like if I hold a device in this particular way, mm -hmm. then it will become something. If I turn it, rotate it, it's going to become something else. So mm -hmm. if I hold the device up to my face, mm -hmm. it will go into camera mode. Mm -hmm. If I put it in my palm and I face the screen towards me, it'll be like a notepad, yeah. right? And that's, I think the, that sort of whole tactile interaction is going to allow the devices to do all kinds of very cool things mm -hmm. from a touch and a physical manipulation kind of perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've already started that in some very specialty mice where you can actually pick it up, rotate it, turn it, grab it, squeeze it, all of that sort of thing. Right, yeah, but we assume it was something, a ring technology we saw mm -hmm. at CES this year. Wasn't it like, mm -hmm. you, know, you hold it in 3D space, you actually manipulate things. So. Yeah, that, that's a little bit different. That uses the same uh, technology that uh, the, the Wii Mote uses as well. That was from Hillcrest Labs. Right. And uh, we had actually s seen that two years ago initially with um, uh, at one of the evening events, and they were showing it off more formally this year, um, with more technology that actually is ready to go and integrated into other systems. Right. Um, but yeah, the squeeze move for I mean that that would be the the next I think phase with gaming is actual push and uh, motion sensitivity and height, altitude, pressure, all of that sort of thing. Not necessarily touching the screen. Now with gaming, I could see. Gaming or the touch sensitivity, multi-touch sensitivity would actually be very good for something like World of Warcraft or anything where you look overhead and need to zoom or move or do multiple things on the screen at the same time. That would be very useful, I think. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it. Very good. So there you go. So that's the, the, the beginning of sort of tactile human interaction. I think is now, and uh, you know, keep an eye on the the marketplace because I think we're going to see more of this physical interaction with devices moving forward. All right, so we would take a break, and when we come back, maybe uh, some pictures? Speaking of pictures? I think so. You having fun there? No. No? Okay, all right. All right, well, let's take a break, and when we come back, it's picture time, your favorite. So Yay. it's ours, too, after this. Well, as promised, we're back, and it's picture time! Is it? It is picture time, it's picture time. La, 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 yeah, We do, we have pictures. All right, what do we have? Click, 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 come on. <laughs> well, oh, it worked. We have, uh, first of all, from our, uh, from our viewer, Luis, who's in the Dominican Republic. Yes. We actually have a, a small series of uh, photographs. Uh, his whole family, basically, are geeks. This is his uh, son, Diego who's uh, interacting with his old computer, which he's turned into his son's machine. Very good. So, very wow. good. Got to get started young. Diego from Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Awesome. And we have his wife, Migdalia, who's shown here checking uh, messages and listening to music uh, while on a layover in Egypt. Family o' geeks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and? And we have the man himself, who is working, I believe, at a bank in the Dominican Republic. Huh. So there you go. Awesome. What was his name again? Uh, Luis. Luis. Kind of like, Thank look, you, look, Luis, for sending pictures of, of your this. family. Got, like servers and multiple machines back here. It's just looks like he's working on a PowerPoint presentation or something. Click to add title. All right. There you go. Can you suggest a title for him to add there? My family are a bunch of geeks. Maybe? Dot com. Dot com. Slash, slash blog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last but not least, we have uh, Thomas from uh, southern Germany, and he's not actually in southern Germany here, obviously. Right. 
He's uh, in uh, Las Vegas at the uh, Paris Hotel. Paris Hotel, that's right, yeah, exactly. Actually, yes, uh, I think he's actually in the real Paris here, so. He is, yeah. yeah. Very good. I haven't been there yet, to the Eiffel Tower. Have you? Uh, well, I've been to the one in uh, Las Vegas. That doesn't count. Not I know. La Brette en France, next on uh, La Brette uh, Super. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just click this and... Are we, we done? Can, I think we have to be now. <laughs> <laughs>